The Washington Post had a big story this past weekend about Donald Trump and Jared Kushner's very troubling financial relationships with the Saudi government. Thank you, Michael Cranish at The Post for digging into this one. The substance of the reporting probably won't come as a surprise to listeners of this show since we've been like tearing our hair out about this stuff for years. But again, the big takeaways are Jared Kushner, terrible at business, bought a $1.8 billion building in Manhattan at the peak of the market, left him an enormous debt. So he, when he left the White House, got this $2 billion lifeline to his investment company, in quotes, from the Saudis. That investment pays Jared's company $25 million a year in management fees alone, right? So he's just like, this is a cash cow for him. It's ridiculous. The Saudi Live Golf Tour is pouring money into Trump's clubs. There's this Saudi real estate company that's going to build a Trump hotel in Oman. And then the interesting thing about the Post story, Ben, even Trump's own staff thought Jared was just sucking up to the Saudis to get richer.